In today's video, I'm working with my seven other papers that I'm adding to my December Junk Journal Challenge 2020 Free For All Junk Journal. Stay tuned for details. Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here with the seven other pages for my December December free for all junk journal challenge. So uh, remember we're making either a single soft cover or hard cover journal with 15 pages. Eight of them come from a paper pad and seven other papers. I'm just trying to get you to see that you can make something really fast and um, it's a lot of fun. So I have this large paper, large square paper here. It came from this workbook exercises <laughs> made in Canada okay so we have that I have this calendar page from 2017 I'm gonna just go ahead and fold this one cuz you know that's gonna be easy fold that one I have a regular graph paper from a composition book and I have ledger paper, double-sided. I have a side-by-side -side journaling page. So I actually took apart a journal and that gave me this page. And then I have some digitals. And so I think these are from the basic digital the basic Christmas paper Christmas basic paper kit digital kit from dear Julie Julie I want to use the quilt page and that is from that kit and this was a quilt that I made with my granny and I'm gonna put that in there and then I think I want to use the scarf page. Okay, so this is the scarf page. Okay, so that gives me those two digitals. Now I can use these for decorating and things, but these are going to be my actual pages. My journal is going to be nine by six. Um, I'm probably, I'm gonna do a soft cover think unless um, I'll have to look and see if I have anything that's a hard cover that will work so um, these are my pages so I'm just gonna fold this one in half okay I can do something with that possibly once it's put together I'm gonna fold that one in half I'm gonna go ahead and fold that one as it was and this one here um, because this is a Christmas journal, I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to 31 because there's 31 days in December. So there we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold this one. We'll just fold this one in half. Oh, let's, let's wait a minute. Make sure that we're at eight and a half. Oh, just a little bit too big. Good thing we checked that. I hate um, having to cut things down later. It's been happening quite often lately. I think my brain is finally starting to come back. Um, after being so sick okay so this I know I need to to get it um, to cut it down to um, you know what let's cut this way so 11 would be five and a half I'm gonna come in a quarter of an inch okay and this is going to give me some great paper for like a little notepad. OK, 
Okay. And now we can go ahead and cut this this way. And this way should be eight and a half. Okay. So that one is cut and ready. And then this one, I am going to see if what we what we need to cut here just a little bit off this one and then I'm gonna go here to five and a quarter and I'm just gonna make a little mark and this one I'm going to go ahead and flip out little make little flip out so I've marked it and So I marked it. We're just going to go ahead and fold it at the mark. Okay, so that will give us a couple of flip outs. If you're here at the premiere, I'm waving. Hi! And say hello to Midnight. Hi, Midnight! I'm so glad you've joined us today. If this is your first premiere, just know that it is a pre-recorded video, but we have a live chat going on. You can join us there by hitting that live chat button and come on over and join us. Um, make sure you say hello so that we can welcome you and participate in the conversation so we can get to know you. Um, we also have our uh, Facebook group, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie. And it's listed in the description box down below. And um, it will also show up in the chat several times while we're here. Go ahead and join there. Make sure that you answer the questions so that Joyce can let you in. And um, yes, and there is a free digital waiting for you in the file section of that Facebook group. You can post your projects there if you're playing along with the 12 days of digis there's a post each day for you to post your um what you've done if you have a youtube channel and you made your uh your day one two three ten whatever of those post it in the right post and we will put you in the playlist so for our 12 days of digis okay so, um, yeah, so let's get back to our program. So this, along with my eight pages, and um, so just very simple. So a desktop calendar. It's kind of like a mouse pad calendar is what this one is just happens to be December 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24, which I thought was kind of fun. And so let's go ahead and grab our pages. Okay, so these are pages that you saw in yesterday's video. So we have the snowman. We have this little flippy dippy there. That, that. Top tuck. Little bottom pocket. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and place these pages in here. And I am going to put that one right there. Actually, it should go just a little bit, maybe where I had it. that okay there's a flip out there So 
I'm just going to go ahead and put these in. So my next thing will be to make the cover. And then, and I'm going to put this, oh perfect. You know, I like to have a ledger paper at the beginning when I can. Okay, I'm going to pull this graph paper up. There we go. I like it with the berries so we'll let the berries be the the pretty okay I'm going to turn this one the other way and I'm going to put it right here next to our belly band I like that So, and a lot of this, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just going through, going, oh, I think I'd like that there. Oh, I think I'd like that there. That's really what's going on here. Oh, I think I'd like that there. So what we have, let's go ahead and I'll show you real quick. Oh, we didn't cut down that journal page. We need to cut that down. And you see we have creep, but remember I am going to be using lace. So that should be fine. So let's go ahead and pull our bar down. And we're going to go ahead and line this up at, we'll do the five and a quarter inches and see if that helps with the with the creep. It also straightens out the edge over here. And you know what? We have the dots on the top of the calendar. So I think we'll turn this one in the other direction and have the dots on the bottom. This could go. Let's move this. In. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I like the way that fits better. Okay, so we have our snowman. This is the first thing you're going to see on the inside of the cover. And then we'll have this place that you can, it's a, like a little pocket that you can put things. Now, if you seem to have trouble with this pocket, you can also go ahead and cut it across and that will help be able to put things in and out of the pocket. Okay, so here we have our ledger paper with the 31 days and we have this pretty little thing here and it might become a pocket just because it would be a really pretty pocket but i do like that right there um so you cannot add any extra big papers but you can add extra little papers um and you can add envelopes and you can add a doily okay but other than that no more papers than your 15 okay but you can add a small paper so I think we'll go ahead and add a small paper right in here it just seems like it needs it now I'm going to want to cut cut it down because I, I I mean the pretty thing is that lace so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. 
okay? So you may add three small papers. You may add a doily to your um, inside. So three small papers, a couple, you can do like two envelopes if you wanted to, and um, doily. So I thought I had doilies right here. I do. It's, the box is totally covered. Oh, no big ones. Oh my. I have a heart. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see if I have any big ones. And if I don't, then I'm not gonna add any. I know I do, I have, I just don't know. They should be in here. Maybe they're just, they're in the, the closet drawer. Have any left here in the in the in the in the space, <laughs> the actual space. Okay, so you can add a doily, um, and you can add a couple of envelopes. Do I have like a red envelope? And remember, you are to add envelopes, three envelope places. I think it is in your. course I'm not finding the red envelope but I can go ahead and add this white one yeah I'm gonna add that right there okay so of course you know me. So this will be one of my envelope places. And um, I'll show you, I'll be decorating it in another video. But this way at least it's, it's already in there. And a privacy envelope would be kind of cool but um, they're all these ones are all blue so I think we'll go down a little deeper here we've got this one and Go ahead and put it right on here okay so that's going to give me my second envelope place and I am going to make it also a double tuck right on this large pocket because I can't really write on there now there we go okay so so there's two envelope places. We did a double tuck here on the side. Gives us that flip out. And we did a double tuck here. And on the other side, the envelope will become a page. Okay? Okay, so this is ready for a cover and to be bound. And then we can go on from there. So eight pages of a variety of ways of folding cardstock, and then seven pages of other papers. So we used the ledger paper, that's one. The graph paper from the composition book, it has, it's a side-by-side -side page, and we cut that down, so that's two. The calendar page, that's three. Digital is four. 
this workbook page is five. We have our um, digital, that's the quilt. Six and seven is our page. And then this is going to be our center of our signature. I think that that's going to be great. And um, so that is that. So um, I have answered several questions in the questions box in the December Junk Journal Challenge 2020. That's what I called it. Um, this is a free-for-all. There are 12 days of embellishments that you need to do. So you'll be making one tassel, you know, and that, that. Um, all of the information is in the details video in the description box down below. So if you're interested in the December challenge, we it is a stash buster challenge. We are using our stash. So um, it started out, you're going to use a paper pad and make the eight pages and then you use seven other pages and then you need to make that variety of 12 days of embellishments check that out look at it before you um before you put your your journal together before you bind it because there might be some things in there that you might actually want to use in your journal like the envelopes okay um, and so we have two envelopes here and I didn't I didn't bring the page the paper is not here for me to know how many envelopes I'm supposed to do and I don't know this by heart <laughs> yet okay so um, yeah so this is going to be a nine by six I will probably just use one of these. Well, this is the traveler's notebook size, but if I have, do I have any more of the big ones? I might be, I might have used all the big ones. I love that wallpaper. So um, I might. Those are all traveler's notebook style, size. Okay, so I'm gonna be using something along this line, but not this one. I could turn it over and I could use this side. It actually kind of feels really kind of cool. Um, so I'll be doing a soft cover and I can go ahead and use another piece of cardstock on the inside um, from my paper pad. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my cover. So you'll see that in the next video. Uh, we'll do the cover and then we'll get started on the embellishments. So again, we're making a single signature with 15 pages. You can add in a couple of, well, however many envelopes it says that you need. Um, you can add the doily and you can add a couple of small pages okay just for interest this was one of my cardstock pages but I cut it in half and had two and then I just added that in there so that we have something of another size okay so I hope you're gonna join us this is uh, really probably one of the easiest that we've ever done yes there are things you still have to make but um, you get to use all your tools. You can use anything in your stash. And the only rules are what you need to have. So, um, but I wanted to show you. You can do something really, really quick. Also, your hint for January is we will be doing a Just Junk Journal Challenge in January. So you might want to start saving your junk and trash and it will be a little different than what we've done before but you will want to save <laughs> save some of those items like we've done before if you're curious go ahead and look at january just junk journal challenge or we also did one in june um okay find something to celebrate every day have an amazing day and i'll see you t at 12.
Because at 12, we'll be doing the day three of the 12, 12 days of Digis, the collaboration that I have going on with Kara Brandon and several elves. So see you at 12 or see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.